Recently I made a video about the gyroid in CATIA V5 and I mentioned how I think the CATIA version of the gyroid did a little bit better job than the NX version and it caused a bit of a stir so I wanted to clarify things a little bit. Even though I've done this in NX what I've done here is I've just simply taken the data out of CATIA and stepped it out, select OK and that is the surface out of CATIA as well as the curves. Let me go ahead and hide those. I'm going to go and create a datum CSIS and now I'm just going to create that fill through all of those curves. So we'll go into surface, fill, I'm going to use connected curves. Now it's a little easier in NX to pick all of the curves because of the connected curves it just goes through, picks everything and I'll even torque up the tolerance to what it is inside of CATIA and select OK. Let me go ahead and change the color of this and show the original out of CATIA. And you can see that there are differences. Okay, so the surfaces are a bit different, not hugely significantly different. If I go in into analysis and do a deviation on these, You can see that um, I have some distance deviation. Okay, so I have a bit of uh, motion going on here across that surface, and that's fine. I don't expect them to be exact. They use different mathematical algorithms, and that's totally acceptable. Now, just cancel out. I'm going to go ahead and hide the fill, and I'm going to measure. I'm going to measure from the CATIA surface to this point. And you'll notice that it is 0 0.0003 millimeters out. So for all intents and purposes, this is perfect. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hide this. This is the fill surface that I just made in NX. And I'll measure that out. Surface to the point. You can see here it's 0.7 of a millimeter out. So that's uh, basically what roughly close to 30 thousandths of an inch so that's pretty far out that's well out of a lot of places tolerances for manufacturing purposes and so on so um, that's what I meant earlier by the uh, CATIA surface that fill in the in the CATIA did a better job of creating a surface that's truly balanced across that center point remember that center point is made um, I, let me rephrase that. That point is at the center of this model. I made a, a block um, starting at the center, four inches in all directions, um, off of that center, two inches, two inches, two inches, two, so a total of four inches. And then I drew those arcs on those faces. And then I did a fill surf, and then I just took those curves or those arcs off of the CATIA model as well as the surface and brought it into NX and uh, did the fill. And, and did that comparison. So you can see here I have quite a bit of distance deviating off of that center point. And I would expect it to run through that center point because all of these are spaced out equally. They're the same size and so on. So I would expect this to be balanced better through this area. Maybe maybe not perfect 0, 0, 0, 003, but a lot closer than uh, 7 tenths of a millimeter. Anyway, that's my conclusion. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And that's it. Thanks.